Hello, and welcome to the demo for the journey of Piggy. Yeah, that's right, uh, the story of... I don't know, a pig. I was going to try to make a joke about Kermit the Frog and stuff. Um, but yeah, it didn't happen. I just didn't come up with anything. Danger... I have to start at Danger Zero. That's like super, super disappointing. Anyway, this is part of Endless Replayability Fest. Um, I got an email about it from Family Devs, I think. And um, so here I am giving it a shot. I, I think, you know, there's a good chance I'm probably just going to skip the roguelike mode and do the survivor's mode. Or actually, no, I'm going to do the roguelike mode, but that means I'm not going to do uh, the survivor's mode. I don't think it would really make a whole lot of sense to do that. Just, you know, to do both. Uh, I'm going to say that I already uh, definitely am not a fan of the fact that there was all that experience that I didn't pick up and then the level ended and I didn't get it. Like, that's, that's not cool to me whatsoever. Uh, especially considering the way the enemies uh, kind of roll in and spawn. It's not exactly easy to pick up the, you know, experience. And um, having to leave all that, it just, yeah, that's going to be an aspect that um, makes the game not so enjoyable to play. Because nobody wants to play something where the progress you make just doesn't go anywhere. Am I wrong, though? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's just leave a bunch of the blue... Um... No, I'm not wrong. That's just a terrible idea. Like, somebody decided that was a good idea. Why? Why would you decide that's a good idea? Why would you say, hey, you know what's a good idea? Let's prevent the player from progressing because they didn't pick up all the experience uh, before they kind of moved. It's an insane choice, in my opinion. Anyway, whatever. Let's, let's just continue on. The, the pig is kind of cute, you know? They seem really happy about what they're doing, which is kind of strange considering they're, you know, just massacring all these little critters, and also because she has no legs. Well, I guess that means, like, this pig wouldn't have any pork chops. Okay, so this brings me to an ethical question, right? You know, we, you know, like, I eat chicken. Chicken is delicious. Now... One of the things about chickens is they're very often grown and uh, and basically kept in terrible cages. It's, you know, they have a miserable experience uh, before being slaughtered and then fed to, you know, all the people who eat chicken. Now, I like chicken thighs, I like chicken breasts, I like chicken wings, I like all of the parts of the chicken for the most part. Now, what if you grew a chicken with, like... I don't know, detachable chicken breasts, or, uh, you know, instead of having, I don't know, like, I mean, like, have, like, the, 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 the chicken kind of like a plant, you know, so it, instead of just having a chicken breast, it grows chicken breasts, like, it, like an apple or a pear, you know, and why can't we make a chicken tree? I, I know some states like Florida are trying to ban the use of plant, you know, lab-grown meat for some reason. Uh, I, I think it's like I would prefer to eat like ethically sourced food. And honestly, if I can eat a delicious steak without causing a cow to die, I feel like that would be beneficial for everyone. Because, I mean, I'm not going to stop eating steak because steak is delicious. I really like steak. But I, I wish no ill will to... You know, the, you know, the cow or, you know, wherever steak comes from. I feel like I'm taking damage. Okay, there's my, my health up there. There's a very annoying enemy with the, uh, the shooting and stuff. Very cramped play area. 
Who are you, little pink person? Are you like my buddy now? What did that happen? Oh, number two, that's what happened. I should have done the recovery. That would have made more sense. I guess I'm going to do a little bit of the survival just to kind of see what that's all about. Um, you know, you know, endless replayability vest definitely has uh, <laughs> dozens of games like this, and one of the things that I think you have to do is like what sets your game apart from, you know, all the other games that are doing a very similar thing. And I will say that I think the roguelike nature of the game, like having the, uh, you know, choose the level pass that you're doing, that's something that's really cool. I haven't seen that too much in these um, survivors like games, so it is nice to see that. But combat wise, oh, this is just it's it's not super awesome. The leveling is very, very slow in comparison to other games that do very similar things. Um, the upgrades have been rather lack lackluster. Like, I mean, it's just it's not progressing at a fast enough speed uh, to, to make this like an enjoyable time. And knowing that I'll have to go back through and do this again, um, it makes it a little bit, you know, difficult to, to really want to do. Now, I don't know if these cards that I'm upgrading are going to be something at all times. None of those are in the demo. I can upgrade, upgrade that at least. World ranking. Let's see, where am I? Number 22. Now is that... We'll, just, we'll try the survivor mode. Um, I don't like that there's only one weapon available. Let's see if the survivor mode's a little bit better than the roguelike mode, which is really a shame. I mean, like, I definitely think uh, the roguelike mode had some some positive aspects. I like the idea of um, being able to progress through a map, choose my path, do all that stuff. That part's really cool. Like, it's a super solid, good idea. But just the progression felt so slow and, and monotonous that... It just really kind of hurts the experience, so. Anyway, I'm going to just play this till I die, I guess. And um, that'll be it for this video. I feel like um, the survivor mode is already much better than the roguelike mode. Uh, just simply because we have more... More like a more more play area. Um, it feels faster paced. I don't have to worry about losing my experience. Um, I mean, I've been playing it for a minute. And I'm already level four. Like it's definitely much faster paced uh, than it was prior. It definitely seems to be missing a lot of things that um, I like in this sort of game. Like, where's my random chests? Where's some stuff that I can, um, you know, have kind of appear at random? Where's my, uh, you call it like a magnet that kind of brings everything closer? I mean, it's like, it's hard. Like, you don't want to compare like a game to another, another game, but it's like, when you have a sandwich, you compare that sandwich to a sandwich. You know, like if I go to Subway, I compare that to a bowl of sugar. When I make my own sandwich, I can compare it to this thing called the Bunker Buster I used to eat in Iraq. It was the greatest sandwich known to man. It will always be one of the best sandwiches I've ever had. A terrible name, obviously, um, but a delightful sandwich. And, you know... When I play 
survivors like roguelikes uh, whatever these are mobile tower defense simulators where you're the tower i compare them to games that i've played like this because i've played hundreds if i've definitely played hundreds of games in the general vein of this so i i think about the things that i really like from those games and i look for them in everything i play and um I, I can't, you know, not do that. It's it's, it's going to happen. I cannot not. I cannot do that. I can't ignore uh, my memory's suggestion of what these games would typically consist of. So, and it's it's the the the, the groundwork here is really solid, but I'm just confused as to like, okay, well, we finally started getting some more intense enemies. Maybe they'll um, start giving us some uh, extra, like, better experience or something like that. I mean, I know that I am playing on difficulty level zero. I don't really understand what I needed to do to um, play at difficulty level one. It said something about doing something at difficulty level zero first. And I, I understand like the whole concept of basically making somebody play uh, an easier version of the game as an introduction to the experience. But it's... You know, for people that play games like this, or games in general, and, you know, they're they're really good at it. Like, they're, you know, excellent at playing video games of any sort. You know, it's it's almost like a slap in the face of, like, you know, you, you, you might feel like you're pretty good, you might be really good, but you've never played our game before, so there's no way you're going to jump in this and actually do any, any level of decency. But we're going to make you start at the very, very basic level. I think it's just like a bad practice. I'm all for difficulty options. I think it's great. I'm not going to lie. I play on easy a lot because I'm honestly kind of more of a casual game player than um, otherwise. I enjoy playing games. I play them to feel like a venerable badass. Not, not so much um, for the challenge at times. There are games that I play for the challenge, but for the most part, I play a game because I just want to have fun. But I also want a fair amount of difficulty to make it feel like I'm I'm somewhat challenged at times. Uh, and difficulty level zero here is is so easy that it just kind of really, really hurts the experience. Um, so I don't know. All right, I'm gonna just you know I was gonna play until I die, but I feel like I'll be playing this forever and never die because. Um, I mean, five and a half minutes into it, and I just feel like Miss Piggy here is just kind of casually doing everything. Oh, good. Things are, um... There's, like, a laser now. It's, like, escalating a little bit. I don't know what the, the, the top score was, um, and I also don't know if, um... I don't know if the top score was for the roguelike action or our roguelike aspect, or if it's also for this portion. I really don't know. So I'm, I'm just, I'm really torn because part of me wants to get on the leaderboard uh, at a higher rate than I was at. And then part of me just wants to go ahead and move on and uh, have some breakfast. I'm going to have bacon. I'm going to have some bacon. Maybe some toast. I'm not actually going to have some bacon. I have some leftover jambalaya from last night. Um, which was, like, mediocre at best. Like, it really wasn't that great. Like, I don't know. I just used a terrible... Not a terrible, but I used some brand from Aldi. It's not that good. Uh, There's no uh, Zatarans. Or homemade. I don't know, maybe I'll just try to get like a score of like 20,000. 
I don't know, like, I'm so torn. Like, I mean, the more I play, the more it kind of grows on me a little bit. Like, I'm still feeling as though it's, like, way too casual. I know it's at difficulty level zero, but I didn't have a choice, so I can complain about the difficulty level because they didn't give me the option to play as a higher difficulty level. I guess I'll have to go back and look and see what it is. I definitely wish that we had, you know, better gems. Like, I just feel like we're constantly getting the same thing for the experience, which is... It's like a little sliver as opposed to something more meaningful. I, I, I don't know. I thought about trying to get 20,000, but... I don't think so. I think, I think we'll level up to 17... So we get a good idea of kind of like what the game is. Um, it's something that you'll either be into or you won't. I would say this is a game that you show someone who's never really played anything in the genre. Um, cool. Oh, nope, I don't want to do a new run. I would like to check and see. Oh, I got to 13,000. Hey, I'm in the top 10. Like in that, I probably could have kept going, obviously, but I didn't want to. I, I don't want to continue. I I wanted to check something real quick. Let me go get killed real quick. Cause I wanted to double check the um, the whole aspect for the difficulties and see what exactly it was that I have to do because I feel as though I missed something. Win a run using the previous difficulty. Well, I don't know how to, I don't know how many minutes you have to play. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. So anyway, uh, the journey of Piggy, it is part of the endless replayability fest. It's, it's okay. It's a very, very, very casual feeling roguelike, um, survivors like. It feels like if with some some minor tweaks, it, it'll be pretty good. But um, right now, like I feel like it doesn't have a whole lot to offer in comparison to, you know, all the other games that are out there doing the same thing. The pig itself, eh, not really a terribly interesting character. Um, the graphics are fine, like the enemy design looks good, explosions are nice, um, I thought all that was good. The survivor's mode play area is really nice, because it's large, and you got a lot of room. Um, the roguelike area is really small, and the fact that you could lose out on the experience, because you've killed enough enemies before you're able to grab it, is a huge turnoff for me. because uh, it just means, like, I'm playing the game without getting the progress that I feel that I've earned. So... I don't really want to do it. It's like building a house for somebody that you're never going to be able to go inside. It's like, and you're not getting, you know, like, it's not like it's your job. It's just, you're doing it because it's something you, you wanted to do. Like somebody's like, Hey, you like playing houses. Yeah, I do. So then you go and you help build the house. And then it's like, Oh, okay, get out. Like, you can't come in. It's not just building the house. It's fun. Like playing the game. It's like progressing and, you know, getting rewarded for your hard work. And if I can't get all the experience that I've earned because I killed everybody. Yeah, just what's the point? Anyway, uh, those are my final thoughts. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to try it. And thanks for watching.